Hi guys, this video we're having a look at the NECA God of War um, Golden Fleece figure. Now, what we're essentially looking at in this video is the counterfeit version and the real version, to be honest. Um, now, I don't know if you can tell straight away which one is the counterfeit and which one isn't um, and I don't have the packaging I'm sorry and, and one of the easiest so one of the say one of the easiest ways um, one way of telling is the fact that the the packaging on the fake one is a lot lighter and not as clear and n most of the packaging that has the um, counterfeit golden fleece figure in it does actually also say the flaming blades of Athena on the front which we all know is another figure um, which has the, the, the obviously the flaming blades in it which the big big bladed um, figure that was out alongside this one now um, I'm really kicking myself that I don't have the package anymore to show you but the the figures themselves if you have brought one if you have took it out of packet um, and you want to find out if you've got a, a counterfeit one or the, a real one um, there are a few telltale signs and I'll be honest with you there are a few pretty good ones out there now to be honest. When they first were bringing them out we have the you know the, the, the counterfeit one and when they first brought them out they were pretty shoddy and I'll be honest with you even when I was studying pictures on eBay trying to get hold of a proper one I, I actually brought four counterfeit ones before I thought that's it I'm gonna pay the money and I'm gonna get a proper one because I just got sick of people kept kept um, fobbing it off as a obviously a real one they even had a picture of the real one and then when when it arrived obviously it was the counterfeit one and I was just getting more and more angry it was just getting a bit of a silly saga to be honest trying to get hold of a prop one right but anyway that was my problem the one on the left here is the counterfeit one and the one on the right is the proper one easiest way for me to show you and all is when I'm talking without me having to keep saying it's the counterfeit one the one on the base is the counterfeit one the one without the base isn't um, now and I've sort of I've changed the hands over you do get an alternate hand for this side on the counterfeit one but I've done it like this just so you can see them sort of like in a mirrored sort of image I know it's not essentially but um, the easiest way and the most telltale way to be honest is the Medusa head itself. Um, firstly, I don't know, you can see quite clearly to be honest. This part of the head is painted. This isn't. That's a clean cut. This is, sorry, obviously, this is the real one, this is the counter one. So for some reason they've painted part of the snakes there going into the into the head. The, the real one is a lot more green. The counterfeit one is a lot more blue, and the the real one, the eyes are sunken as well. Um, I'm going to take the Medusa's heads off in a little while so we can see where. But the eyes are a lot more sunken in the in the real one. Of e you can even see counterfeit ones of these with the eyes actually popping out, protruding out as well, which is ridiculous. But and it looks ridiculous, but. Um, that's one of the easiest way to tell with the Medusa head. Um, there are some people saying that the the fake one as well doesn't have nipples. You can see this fake one does have nipples painted on. For some reason, the fake one doesn't. And um, no, I was going to say the sorry, I could talk rubbish then, which I'm not. <laughs> um, the the gold around his legs is a lot more prominent gold on the real one than it is of the, the fake one it's more of the brown colour although there's plenty of gold on the arms um, 
the paintwork itself on the on the counterfeit is just just shoddy in itself to be honest and also the the fact that he couldn't stand up at all it just kept constantly falling over constantly falling over constantly falling over um, what I've actually done is I've actually glued his feet to his ankles just to get this guy to stand up to be honest you can see the paintwork in the joins is terrible I know it's not brilliant on the Neko one but it's it's a hundred times better than than the counterfeit one um, the actual blade itself is too shiny it just looks like a sticker stuck on I know I don't think it is but it looks like a sticker stuck on and the, the, the actual flamey blade bit is shiny in itself to be honest the blood on him is just splattered on it doesn't look as good the the paintwork itself is just gonna gonna do it for you to be honest um, the red on the red marks on the real Kratos very prominent very sharp lines very neat painting um, again on the head very clear and sharp what they're doing there on the fake one it just it doesn't it's sort of like going thin and then fat and it's a little bit wobbly um, not as clear cut um, and it looks a little bit blurry as well and it's rubbing off in places which it isn't on the on the real one to be honest I just it's just everything about it just just oozes cheap yeah um, now the, the the one of the hard things to do is, is obviously his skin they've painted him white and just just emphasized it with little bits of grey which is, an, is a lot more like the flame and blades of Athena Kratos I give it that but the face is just terrible there's just no depth to the to the I don't know just the emphasizing the marks on his neck honestly it's just an awful awful paint job and I'll be honest with you this is one of the better counterfeits I've seen out of all the counterfeits I unfortunately kept buying it, it was just ridiculous how bad some of the paint jobs were on them I was just getting so I, I will not even look as soon as I had the packet in my hand I knew straight away um, so here's a little look a better look or close-up look at the Medusa heads and you can quite clearly see how this is a lot more blue and this is a lot more green and the paint work is awful on the fake one there's just no effort gone into painting the ears the blood coming out of her neck now one thing I understand as well is this little paint mark underneath the nose it's just Oh, it's just everything about it. It's just, it's just no, it's just blue. There's nothing to it. Whereas the green one, the shades of yellow in there, just to emphasise the the arches over the eyes and the cheekbones. Blue, nothing. And like I say, if you've got the eyes popping out quite far, you've got a fake one. Sorry. And again, the side of the head there, the snakes are going into the a bit of painting on the head got it on there but the top one obviously doesn't so so the main I always say the main way to tell is actually the Medusa's head in itself to be honest is, is one of the telltale signs so I hope that helps you guys I'm just you know just frustrates me that they've got all these ones coming over from China and, and like I said I did buy for myself before the fifth version sorry the fifth version the fifth fifth figure was this guy which obviously is a proper one and I'm pleased to say you know I invested in the proper one I, I did think well I'll just get one anyway just to complete my collection but it always bugged me 
that this guy was a counterfeit so I just obviously had to bite the bullet and invest in a proper one so I hope that helps just obviously be aware of, of the golds um, especially on the legs is an easy way to tell obviously the Medusa head and, and just the general if you can zoom in on, on eBay if you're looking and just have a look try and get two windows side by side to, to compare them and you should be okay um, and again on, on his tunic here you can hardly see any of the the um, the gold there and you can see it's quite visible on here as well so yeah so anyway guys take care oh sorry and obviously you've got the, the on the arm sorry and, and again if you can see on this arm very gold very brown so hope this helps obviously anyone looking to buy the you know God of War figures keep your eyes out there's, there's, there was plenty of fake golden fleece ones there's plenty of fake Ares armors ones um, and there is the the one with the awful big fat gauntlets on his arms on the ends of his hands which just isn't a NECA figure at all so just be a little bit aware just obviously do your research um, and keep collecting guys and appreciate watching and I'll catch you all again soon all the best take care bye bye